Would you like to hear a story? Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode one of Tales of Shar. Uh, this will not be a campaign. I'm just, I'm just prefacing that. This is not a campaign. Um, however, uh, this is uh, going to be a bunch of one shots created by the community or with the community's help. And uh, we're going to try to do this, make this a monthly thing with various guest stars where we play those very same adventures on stream. Uh, tonight's adventure is Catacomb Kerfuffle, which is actually already available for download on my coffee. If you want to go check it out, you can just do exclamation point card in chat, C-A-R-R-D. And that'll come up. It is free. Pay what you want. If you want to follow along, you're welcome to. But hello. Let's meet our heroes in just a moment. As much as I love Baldur's Gate 3, I need to kill the music for it simply because it's lyrical. And we're not doing that. So let's do a let's do a track change real fast. Let's see. There we are. That's better. Let me turn that up. Fantastic. Let's meet the rest of everybody, shall we? Hello. Wait. No. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Hello. Before us, we have, uh, we have, I mean, you know them, you love them. We have Ganon, Damien, Mr. Morg, and Whisper. Please uh, introduce your characters, who you'll be playing tonight, and uh, give, give a little bit about of, uh, a little bit about of who you are. Uh, sure. Uh, so hi, I'm Ganon, pronouns she, they, character pronouns he, him. Uh, my character is Volthar, a warlock, uh, raised as a noble, uh, but tired of that life. Uh, Volthar uh, pretended to be a criminal for a few years in his hometown um, before he did some actual criminal activity and had to take a deal to get out of uh, both the city and the trouble he was in. Uh, and so now has dedicated his life to using those powers to help others. Hello, my name's Damien, pronouns he, him, and I will be playing Carver tonight. Uh, pronouns also he, him. Carver is a 39-year-old tiefling barbarian from a small little hamlet who uh, who found out defending his home that uh, he got real, real angry, real good, and could hit things real hard and <laughs> uh, did a pretty good job defending his home and his carpentry business, but kind of scared a bunch of people and was like, well, you know, I'll use this to go find my fortune elsewhere and is currently just kind of traveling around the world, helping out where he can, maybe getting a little angry, taking in the sights and uh, yeah, just kind of cavalierly going through life. Fantastic. Morg? Mr. Morg. Hey, sorry, my push to talk is being wonky. Um, oh, no. So I'm Morg. Pronouns are he, they. My character is Taglio, or Leo for short. His pronouns are he, him. Uh, Taglio is a rogue, but he dabbles in uh, what he calls alchemy. <laughs> oh. Um, really, well, no. he, he He's just a craft makes... brewer, isn't he? <laughs> he really, really likes poisons um oh. he makes various poisons 
Uh, he's got this big, big book that he carries around with him um, where he jots down notes about all these different plants and flowers and anything that he can find. He does pressings and all this other stuff. And basically, it's all so that he can do his job better, which is stealing and fencing things so that he can send money back to his little sister. Aw. That's Ew. so sweet. Yeah, he could he could do something a little bit more, um, you know, by the books. But coming from a family of traveling fae who pretty much spend all their time uh, horn swoggling adventurers anyway, he was kind of born into this life. Oh, he's definitely not breaking bad for his baby sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hope you won't be rolling <laughs> bad either. Hey. Sorry. I, I can't all I can think of. They were like, he makes concoctions. And I was like, ah, drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Amazing. Oh, anyway, no. hi, everybody. I'm Whisper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm playing, catch this, Silvera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, try saying that five times fast. You can call her say for short. It's fine. Um... Silvera is a paladin, but she's been a soldier her whole life. And at one point in time, a paladin sacrificed her life to save Silvera when they were under siege. The paladin died, and Silvera doesn't even know her name, but she got a scrap of the banner that she was carrying and used it to find her order and follow in her footsteps and hopefully pay the favor forward. Well, there we go. That is our band of misfits in the world of Shar. One second, I am having minor technical difficulties. Of course I am. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How do I do this? Can we help you with your technical difficulties? I'm I am attempting. <laughs> Wait. Wait. There we go. In my streaming <laughs> software. Good thing I don't have streaming software going. Guest push guest. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I see it. Ooh. It happened. There we go. Oh my god, that's so cool. I got notifications for all of you. Fantastic. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I just had to because we're using the new guest star feature not for literally anything other than to notify everyone else's followers. Yep. So you're not going to see anything different on stream. I have no browser source, no audio, no nothing with that. It just lets both all Morg, Whisper, Ganon's, and Damien's followers that, hey, I went live over here. Come check it out. It's actually a pretty new, cool new feature on Twitch's part. It is. Uh, it's kind of a bitch, though, but <clears throat> uh, it wouldn't be Twitch otherwise. Yeah, no, exactly. So that's uh, the music is a bit loud. All right, let me turn that down slightly. It's a quiet song right now, but. Or should I be saying Torm Zone Truth? There we go. I'm not too concerned about the music being audible, really. I can barely hear it myself. But the other thing, folks, is this is an actual play. Uh, we are not doing any sort of script past the adventure that I have written. So um, we're going to try to keep chat interactions to a minimum. I have alerts turned off. So if you donate and everything else, uh, it won't show up on stream. I'm sorry. Uh, it will still show up in chat. Uh, we will acknowledge uh, where we can and everything else, except for in special circumstances. But we'll mostly be just kind of like talking to each other. And um, but occasionally one of us will uh, respond to something through text in chat as it is. Thanks for understanding. So what say you we get started with uh, the adventure catacomb kerfuffle the <laughs> I know, I know. It's a, it's a fantastic, it's a fantastic it adventure name. It has to be alliterative. If it does. It's not alliterative. It's not a proper D and D thing. Exactly. Um, but so uh, I will say that this adventure is very uh, generic in setting. It doesn't matter where it is or what town it's in. It just matters that it exists. So yeah. But. <clears throat> 
your merry band of misfits is uh, traveling down one of the uh, nearby streets in town, as it were, and you actually spot a uh, a um, robed priest, in, not in his full regalia, but clearly not just an acolyte. Uh, he's standing outside of his his place of worship, and he looks a bit stressed. He actually spots all of you, and uh, he actually he actually rushes over after he gives you a quick look uh, once over, and uh, and he he just he just approaches you. Oh, hello. Um, I'm sorry. You you all seem to be adventurers. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah. That's uh, is, I think that'd be true, at least for me. Yeah. Is is that what we're officially calling ourselves now? Or are we are we officially adventurers now? Well, do you have some kind of like commitment issue. Like, do we need to talk about that for a bit? No, 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 no. I'm just I'm i I've, I've never officially been an adventurer before. I've just kind of done my own thing. It's kind of nice. Kind of well, nice to be well, like, yes, actually, as a matter of fact, I'm yes, sir. I think we are. Uh, terribly sorry to interrupt. No, you're 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 fine. I I just assumed I I saw the I saw the weapons and the armor and you don't look like guards so. You know, that type of thing. Oh, thank you. I think that's a big compliment. Well, you're welcome. Uh, I'm not partial to them either myself most of the time, but that's neither here nor there. No, I'm I'm in a pickle. Um, I don't have the time uh, to go down to the Adventurers Guild itself to post a proper listing or anything. I just, I need help right now. Um, I have a bunch of unsavory types in the catacombs of, of my, of my church, actually. They're they're stealing from the dead. I was I was wondering if if perhaps you all we could you know I could hire you right here on the spot. I pay you handsomely to to, to deal with them as you see fit even. Um they're they're ne'er do wells, they're the, the 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 scum of society as it were. Uh, what you what you do with them and is in God's hands, not mine. <laughs> I Tag. open my mouth, and the rest of you who already know Salvera know she is about to make an offer to do this for no pay. Um, Tag, I'm, oh, no, 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 no. Tag no, no, no. very Payment. quickly, very quickly yeah. shushes everybody, puts his hand <laughs> up, and goes, I heard we'd be paid handsomely. I say yes. <laughs> oh, fan fantastic. I'm, I'm so glad. I was actually... I, I was actually I, I I spied the the lady here and I saw I saw her icon of, of worship and I, I was I was prepared to 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 tug on tug on her heartstrings to see if I could get help. But if you're willing to do it the, just for the pay, that's that's fantastic. Yes, please. I, uh, heart heartstrings are great and all, but I I feel like purse strings definitely uh move a little bit faster. So yes, you have made the right decision, sir. Fantastic. It uh, actually isn't seem... much I won't do for pay, so... Like the right thing to do? <laughs> yeah, purse strings make the heart strings but keep going, you know? Exactly. I would still like to get exactly. paid, yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Um... I guess the right thing doesn't always feed you. Oh no. <laughs> One second. Well, just think of it this what? way. If you don't get to eat food, you can't keep doing good things. I mean, why why do you think churches have them them collection plate thingies? That's, a gift of tithe is different than well actually, you know, being paid for work does seem more honorable, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. Well, I suppose if we're being paid to do the right thing, then Well, I was in already, but I'm still in. And, and now we're more obligated to. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, exactly. Wonderful. Yes, those those societal obligations. Yes, agreed. Um now uh please, they're they're as I mentioned, they're in the catacombs of the church itself. You can just you can just go in, don't bother any of the acolytes, they're fine. No one's hurt. You don't need to worry. They're just they're I don't know, they just they busted in and are are stealing from the dead, and the catacombs are where we have the more wealthy families. 
and it's just a shame for them to be for the for the dead to be ransacked as such out of greed but but thank you so much you can please just simply head on inside and do what you adventurers do uh yeah let's let's get going no time like the present sounds good to me i'll go first and she marches forward fantastic um so the uh the actual chapel is is pretty well kept it's um medium sized uh there's various uh there's various uh 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 shrines to uh good aligned pantheon the good aligned pantheon along the sides however it's obvious that the um the most of this chapel is dedicated to Paylor himself um who is i guess the quintessential good god as it were um but the the entrance to the catacomb itself is behind uh is is off to the side of the altar kind of like in in one of the doors one of the acolytes actually spots you and 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 is like yes yes please this way come come um just a nice middle-aged man he doesn't know anything uh but he leads you to the door of the catacombs <clears throat> and opens it up um being the catacombs it's dark of course uh and he he leads you down the steps they're actually quite wide mostly of course to accommodate any sort of uh, equipment or bodies because after all this is where the dead is interred so but uh as you head down the steps um the pungent stench of mildew emanates from the catacomb walls <clears throat> and uh you can see various alcoves it is fairly dark it is it is dim lighting and um we we can actually see the scene here already set up but however uh there you are greeted almost immediately at the bottom of the stairs by a a a couple a handful of 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 folks they seem to be the ne'er do wells that the uh that father karsten spoke of um the uh <clears throat> the one with the beard off to the left this one here mm -hmm. actually actually kind of he doesn't step forward but he he stops you hey, let me move him over actually he he steps he takes a step over and, and kind of blocking your way and uh he's he is brandishing a weapon however he is not approaching you he's not like going to attack you as it were but he is he is assuming a threatening presence and he stops and he holds out one hand and he goes stop right there no further uh hello my good man uh what's going on down here that's uh that's none of your business it's it's, it's our business Actually, we just got hired to like come down here and look at stuff. So, in quite the most literal sense, it actually is our business. Are you desecrating the dead? He kind of stops for a second, and he and he and he and he pulls back his hand that he's holding out after what Carver has said, and seems to be counting on his fingers for a second. He is clearly confused as to the ins and outs of business. <laughs> And then, and then after hearing, uh, sail, I'm sorry, whisper, what's your character's name pronunciation? It's Selvira. Selvira. After hearing Selvira's question, he kind of perks up, completely forgets the previous question and he goes, <laughs> yes, and it's ours and you can't stop us. I never oh. liked it when people tell me what I can do. I mean, at, at this point, that just seems like, I mean, it, like, really, you're, you're just going to, like, put down a challenge for us right there? Like, come on, man. I, I mean, I mean, listen, I'm I'm doing a job. You're doing a job. I was here I'm, first, so you can leave or I can do the other part of my job. I mean...
And as he I says, you face me head on in a duel. I was gonna say, as he says this, uh, the other uh, uh, one of the other bandits pulls out, uh, like readies their uh, their sword, and the one in the back is clearly like notches a crossbow and was like waiting. Um, after hearing uh, Selvira's challenge, he he laughs. <laughs> duel? No, we don't. No, honor's not really my thing. We. I mean, oh, fantastic. bodies. And... I love hearing that. And I just crack my knuckles and ready my axe. Okay. Uh, I suppose now would be a good time to roll for initiative. Both Hell yeah. Flourishes their rapiers as someone will take you up on that someday, say. Fantastic. It hasn't happened yet. The yet part is important. That's... Thank God this initiative was better than the one I did with the test. <laughs> what is my initiative? Wow, my initiative is not particularly great. Fair. Well, it's probably better than theirs. <laughs> I don't remember how. Oh, not wait. terrible. Uh, on the character sheet on uh, roll 20 more, you can just click the button for initiative and it will automatically go. Oh, that's pretty cool. Mm hmm. Oh, hang on. I want to try that. It's worse than my previous roll, but that's OK. We don't need to talk oh, about did it. it. Wait, did it not show up in the chat thing? It, it did didn't. not. Weird that it, I'm sorry. Did you click on D&D &D Beyond or did you click on roll 20? Oh, D&D &D Beyond. Oh. There, that's why. <laughs> uh, no, I'm in roll 20 is. and I don't know where to click. So on roll 20, oh my God, you can. That's... I'm not using that. Uh, you yeah, can. No. no, no, no. You can open your character sheet, Morg. <laughs> uh, and then where it says initiative, you can just. Well, thank you. Oh, my God. They're applauding your initiative. Your crit roll. Wow. Oh. You can just click. On That's the cool. little initiative and it'll roll it. It's basically the same as D&D &D Beyond. It's about finding where your character sheet is in Roll20. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty much. Uh, so Morg has a higher dexterity than Damien. So they will go first. Um, so first up, top of the round, because unfortunately they got a six. Uh, Morg, you are you are first. You you see the enemy before you. What what would you like to do? Uh, Oh, that's a good question. Hide? Yeah, it's probably that's probably a good thing for the rogue to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I believe uh, at level three you have cunning action, so you can cunning action hide. That's your bonus action. So you can yeah. still do something afterwards. You still have an action and a reaction. Um, go ahead and roll a hide check for me. Uh, uh, ye, it would be uno momento on your skill sheet. It's going to be listed as stealth. So on the on the main character sheet, left hand side next to your stats, the, where the skills are near the bottom where it says stealth because it's alphabetical order. There you go. Uh, so that's a crit for stealth. Oh, my God. Uh huh. And they're they're going to attempt to see you. <laughs> they failed. <laughs> it's gone, gone. Just disappeared right in front of. Doesn't their eyes. exist anymore. <laughs> Must have been the wind. Yeah, they... he just he was there for one second. They thought they saw a red haired elf, but then they were like, you know, maybe it was just the three of these folk. Like yeah. maybe there was only just a few folks there. Your 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 existence has been wiped from their minds. They only like see the three people and they only believe three people are there. Uh, you still have an action and a uh, reaction and a movement. So you can definitely now stab one. Although I think sneak you can... attack only works when you're flanking, really, doesn't it? Sneak attack works uh, in a couple of ways in 5th edition. It works if someone is currently within five feet of your target or if you have 
advantage um being hidden would count as advantage so so if i go if i manage to to get up to one of these guys i could stabby stabby with advantage yes or you can simply uh use a ranged attack whichever you prefer i could do that i should do that <laughs> we'll do that I believe in the middle of your sheet, I have it listed as an attack. Let me see. Beep, beep. E oh, I don't. Pardon me. Uh, what weapon are you using, Morg? Um, he's got the two daggers. Yep. And then he's just got like a short bow or something that's like that. That's fine. Short bow's fine. Yeah, Wait. short bow. No, that's the same one. I want to add one. Let me go ahead. Bear with us, folks. We're new to this. <laughs> we'll get it right eventually. Yeah, we're getting there. There we go. Now you can click on short bow and it will attack. Uh, you'll have to do the sneak attack manually, however, but that's that's easy peasy. We can just do do the roll in roll 20 in the chat box. OK, so I'm just clicking on short bow. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So that's a 22 to hit. That's going to hit. Which one did you want to hit? I should have asked that first. I apologize. Oh, um, the the main guy, the main guy. OK, so the so the OK, so him, the Mr. Red Beard. Token, yeah. Uh huh. Um, so that's going to hit. Go ahead and uh, roll for damage and then you'll roll sneak attack, which is 2d6. Five. That's fine. And then um, you can do slash roll space uh, 2d6 for damage. Six. Fantastic. So he takes nice. 11 as he takes a bolt into the chest. Jesus Christ. From an invisible location from downtown. <laughs> from downtown. From God himself. Yeah, from God himself. He now knows where you Beast are, however. Smote. And in comes tackling over the steel chair. <laughs> God, but uh, no, the 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 crossbow bolt uh, sinks into his chest with a meaty thump, and he goes, "Wait, I thought there were three of you." And uh, next up, we've got uh, Damien. It's your turn. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and walk forward. You do that, and. Uh... I'm going to go ahead and do a reckless attack with my great axe. So I get advantage, but then any attacks against me also have advantage. Correct. Also, I should actually. No, I don't have his, I have his HP hidden, so don't worry about it. But roll, roll so, that beautiful bean footage. All righty. That's going to hit. Okay. That is. Head. Wait. Oh, did that do it with advantage? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's auto set up to roll with both of them, and if you don't have advantage, you just take the one on the left. Um, gotcha. Otherwise, it 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 uh, it works that way anyway. Sweet. Then I roll one d twelve plus two for my damage. Wow. Uh, Amazing. Twelve. It giveth and it taketh away. It really it, it, do. It, it do. Really it, do. It, it do take it away. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. No. The the axe bites into him, and uh, but he manages to like roll with the blow, and he, he minimizes the damage. Uh, next up, we have uh, Ganon with Volthir. Volthar. All right. Uh, so you see uh, Volthar just like do a little twirl uh, of his rapier and suddenly like his slightly purple hue skin crackles and he is casting Eldritch Blast at the same guy. <laughs> we really said fuck this guy. Uh, I, mean, that's yeah, how... I think that probably hits. Yeah, that's going to hit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. You guys are rolling good tonight. Oh, yeah. Or... <laughs> yep. Or not. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, it, hit. it did. The D10 the D10 taketh away. Yeah. It really does, yeah. But uh like underneath 
uh carver's uh carver's arm like whizzing past your side by mere inches this bolt of energy just smacks into uh the bearded bandit um like not square in the chest but pretty pretty close and he he thumps back against the pillar behind him and he slides down and he does not get back up um, I both I'm going to turn around and look at Volthor and say, man, that's like the fifth time you've done that. Can I get like one? Listen, you soften him up, I take him down. It's the dynamic. Yeah, but like, it's just the wind out of my sails a little bit, you know? Well, now is not exactly you. the okay. time to be arguing over this. Ah, uh, there's more of them, you're right. <laughs> do one of you want to do on me? She points. Uh, yeah, it's actually your it is is your turn. Uh, yeah, both are just gonna move right there and be done. And um, they uh, they do not meet your challenge. They they simply they simply glare at you, and and the one in the back actually laughs. Oh, The one in the back is now my target, except <laughs> I cannot get to them. The one, I the cannot one get the to back. them without you can. provoking attack of opportunity. Oh, that's the that's the choice. So, are you gonna are you gonna do it or not? That means I have to go through people to get. To them, Actually, no. You would okay. You would be fine because oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah you're still within range. five feet. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you would. Yes. Yeah. See. I'm going to walk you're not leaving their right threatened cast. space drawing my blade in my white fisted right hand torn be praised yeah leo's just like yeah go on last show him his boss <laughs> well, why did i move <laughs> it does that but we understand how you moved and then, and then she fuses I into the wall. <laughs> this is what happens when the spell no clip is cast right <laughs> those ancient magics <laughs> The magics we do not speak of. <laughs> it, it comes with a, a one in 20 chance of your skin turning into a purple and black checkerboard texture. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. For some reason, I thought <laughs> that is going to hit. You guys Xbox. are rolling really good tonight. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I that's, got lucky. Oh, that's my a hit. God. That's good. Now let's yeah. get that one on the damage. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh. oh. no. That's a six my on the damage. Very nice. nice. So I walk straight past the other one, brandishing my sword with my white fisted right hand, torn be praised, and just skewer her right in the shoulder. Yeah, no, she 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 just takes the blow full on and is like, ah, is just surprised, like, what the fuck? Um, because she just you just walked right past her friend. Uh or her 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 her, her Coworker, I guess. Ally. <laughs> Ally, sure, we'll call it that. Um, it is oh. now their turn, however. Um Respect so I have them as as fighters, I admit. Uh so they are gonna they you know what? They're impressed, but they're also like WTF mate. And uh, honestly, they're both they're both going to try to attack the paladin. They just walked right on past. <laughs> I just I really love that mental image of just <laughs> Silvira just walk, just just getting really huffy and just like not even running, just like stomping through towards the other one. Exactly. Oh, yes. It's definitely like a straight pace. We're not we're not speed walking. Nope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Both let's just, see. Like, on the back just went by. He's like, go get him. <laughs> One second. Let me do some. The rest, some the rest of the party is just like, they're just doing the like, ooh, you're, <laughs> you're in, in trouble. trouble. Oh, my God. <laughs> and the first one. Does that ooh. does that hit? Oh, wow. Nope. Ow. What? <laughs> I hit my head on my mic. My armor class is 19, bro. So meter beat. Oh my god. Oh, is it, uh is it beat then? Meet meet or yeah. beat. 
beat beat okay, the meat. Yes, it does. Whoa. So you're gonna take. Uh, this is from the one in front of you. They pulled out a short sword mm. and were like, "No, no, 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 no." Five damage, as they as they just just flail it with their one good arm now. And the other one is gonna try to hit you as well, but unfortunately, completely misses your your armor. Uh, praise be thorn. <laughs> uh, deflects the the blow from behind. Honorless cur, I guess. Torn be praised. Mm hmm. <laughs> but now, yeah, I was about to say thank you. Yep, they did my health. Little, oh, sure. little, little ding of HP health. Uh, we're back to the top of the round with uh, Taglio. It is your turn. Mork. Ah, my push to talk is being wonky. Leo's basically <laughs> going to do the same thing he did before. Okay. <laughs> Roll a hide check. Or a stealth check. Seven. Ew. No, you fail. They they know where you are. <laughs> Sorry. You still have an action and a move, though. Both of them are within five feet of a person that's on your team, so you can still get a sneak attack, I believe. Uh, yes, correct. So. You will still be able to get a sneak attack on either one, simply because uh, Silvare is within five feet of both of them. I still have an attack and a move? Yeah? Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Because rogues can use cunning action to hide. Okay, I'm sorry, the dog just barged into my room. Um, -da 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 -da. Uh, he's gonna move right over here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's gonna try shooting the one that's behind, uh, behind the one that's closest. Sure, roll the hit. That is a miss. I'm okay. sorry. Oh. And an arrow whizzes past and and Ooh. clanks noisily uh, against the wall, hitting nothing. This mild curse of annoyance under Leo's breath. Oh, sorry. It's just it's so dark in here. Um, he can see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, I have dark vision. Yeah. Uh, Damien, you're up next. <laughs> All righty, Carver. Um. I'm going to go ahead and doop, doop, right up to there. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to like saunter on up. And my, my great axe basically looks like an oversized carpenter's axe. <laughs> and I'm just going to like, I'm going to do that should. thing where you like kind of hold your thumb up to angle it and then just wow. take a big old swing. Do it. Like chopping a tree. Chop that beautiful Barbara, meat footage. That Friday is a when I'm free on Friday? miss. Oh, it's reckless. Oh, reckless? All right, then yes. that's a hit. Three. God damn it. Well. <laughs> yeah, another, another, in your, in your, in your <laughs> reckless swing, uh, you fail to uh, aim properly and you just kind of wing them. Sorry. Uh, next up, Volfar. To be fair, yeah. they're not a tree. They're not. They're not. <laughs> they 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 can move. Uh, so Volthar once more just sort of does like a little uh, flourish with uh, his rapier that has a slight glow to it, uh, and he just does a little jaunt forward to try to do a stab. Stab time. That's a hit. I hope. I hope so. Oh damn! Yeah. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's a, that's right. definitely a hit. Please damage dice. Be nice to me. Yeah, hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's not yeah, bad at all. Good. Uh actually, um like uh so so the bandit um once it gets winged by Carver, turns to face him, and unfortunately uh Volthar is just standing there ready and just goes Hah! and just gets him like straight through the side where the kidneys are with the rapier and just after pulling the rapier from their side, they simply fall over dead. 
like that. I'm just gonna, roll hard, just looks I'm over just, at Carver and just like shrugs like I'm just gonna Sorry. look. There's no it's you know the you know the comics where it's like the the hey, look at look at what I can do, and it's the two blank face stick figure men, and it just zooms in on the one, and <laughs> even though there's no expression, you know the mood that they're feeling. Uh -huh. That's Carver right now. Fantastic. <laughs> Uh, next up is Silvare. Silvira. It is it is your turn. I uh, you... haven't yeah. even turned to look at the one behind me. I am not surprised. Other, other than when the hit clinked off of the shield that I was pulling off of my back. Oh, um, nice. <laughs> Amazing. And I say, you should have taken the duel. And swing at the one in front of me. Go for it. Amazing. Love her. <gasps> That's a definite oh. hit. And oh. and oh, yes. she just does a just a, just a limperal a limperal? <laughs> a, 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 a simple lateral swing that you have seen her practice at camp a thousand times and just cleanly parts the bandit's head from their shoulders. They should have practiced their basics. They should have. But I'm, that is... I'm, I'm going to go into a, like, like a little golf clap. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Um, Leo just like, oh, it's beautiful, darling. <laughs> so uh, the actual catacombs, now that you uh, are not dealing with an immediate threat and can actually look around... Um, they are in okay-ish repair. You can tell that they've been uh, rummaged through, obviously. So, unfortunately, it's it's not as nice as it would be. Like some of the bodies in the in the various alcoves on the sides, like a couple of them are just sitting on the floor, uh, disheveled. Uh, as you know, I mean they're they're stiff, so they're not going anywhere. But, um, there's no. Uh, there's no torches in the immediate area. There are sconces on the middle pillar that you're actually kind of like standing around at the moment, obviously for when people need to come down here, but they don't put torches down here normally. Uh, but that's it for this room, actually, if you all want to to progress. Can, uh, I, can I rifle through the bearded dude's pockets? Sure, yeah. Yes, pocket um, rifling is a must. Of course. <laughs> no, no. On the... Uh, on the bandits, you actually find, um, let me, you know what, I'm just going to roll. I'm just going to roll. You find four various pieces of, uh, what look to be actually decent jewelry. Um, uh, not like opulent, but definitely something that you could probably sell. Um, however, they don't have anything... Uh, any other valuables? They don't have like a coin pouch or anything, as it were. They're not carrying any money on them, other than a handful of coppers. Uh, they've got their gear, which looks not well maintained. It's not in disrepair, but it's definitely not like the toppest quality. So, like, I just I don't really get it. Like, if you're gonna rob something, rob like, yeah, they're. I guess I mean they're dead, so they're not gonna do anything about it but like i don't know I mean, go for the mark that you can handle right i think obviously that is... the dead are the only ones they can handle that's pretty sad i think it's fair to say that we're all aware that desperate people do desperate things all the time true i don't, I don't know if these were Desperate though, I think they were just dumb. <laughs> yeah, that's about that was, stupid people do stupid things all the time too. But I was trying to be oh, polite. That's true. That's <laughs> really true. I got what you meant. I was trying. I wasn't gonna pry into it. <laughs> Those aside, I wave my hand, as in like neither here nor there. I think we need to fix this, and she starts gently like moving the previously here dead not the fresh mm -hmm. dead back into their proper places both are help with that Carver, carver's just gonna go ew carver uh, we make corpses all the time oh my yeah, lord Leo, like, these Leo ones are like 
they're they're like they look like jerky <laughs> it bothers you more when they're lacking blood than when they have it there's an eyebrow know, raise. I definitely it's... definitely prefer the the bloodless uh corpse than a blood filled one they're less heavy i <laughs> I mean, that's fair, but like, I don't know. There's something about them that just like gives me the heebie jeebies, you know? It's, it, it, and I don't, I don't like the mental idea of me becoming like beef jerky after I go. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Amazing. I'm well, just saying. We well, can Carter, burn you if you'd like. Yeah, so that's say, if you want, uh, we can promise to make sure you don't become jerky. I'll take that offer. I don't know what that or implies, I could promise but to I'll sell take you that too. offer. <laughs> The big guy upstairs Sorry. always needs something. Wait, huh? Don't worry about it. Amazing. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Don't worry. What he's saying is we have a list of options for you. We can oh, review it cool. next campfire. Oh, okay. Cool. 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 Yeah, our <laughs> our post mortem service business we're starting. I think one of them involves exactly. down by the it's river. Lucrative. <laughs> You know, you like kill a, them. It's like those. It's like those. Those, those uh, fire insurance companies that uh, that that you know, like have an arsonist on staff. Sick of being a zombie. Just... Don't want to be turned into a lich. Hire us. We'll yeah, all we need is a crematorium or a warlock with a really good fire spell. You kill them, we grill them. It's done. Grill <laughs> <laughs> them. Oh. All right. well, I, said, well, I said crematorium, okay? <laughs> I'm going to leave these kinds of things to all of you. I don't think I'm quite skilled for it. Marketing campaigns aren't exactly my strong suit, as we've proven in the past. Proceeding with the catacombs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Sorry, sir. No, you're good. I'm not sorry at all. I know, I know you're not. But no, it's, it's, I mean, no, inner party banner is fantastic. But shall we, shall we continue? Yes, I suppose. Yes, let's. Fantastic. As soon as we finish putting the jerky away, oh we move God. down the hallway. Okay, no, that's, that's, <laughs> mm, all right, that's fair. Want to recall any corpses from now on, just playing Baldur's Gate, like, all right, let me rifle through this jerky. God. That's exactly what's going to happen. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> down the hall hello um so uh obviously you're met with a very long hallway uh it splits off into three different uh little little stairways as it as it were uh the first one uh, comes up on your left and the second one on your right uh what would you like to do I would like to peek around the corner of the one coming up on the left. Fantastic. Go ahead and uh, make a perception check for me. Perception. Boop. Taglio. I'm good at this. Yes, love. Also from experience, I think maybe that going first once we get deeper in the tunnels isn't my strong suit either. That's all right, dear. I'll be right me behind you. <laughs> There's a uh, look. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, peeking around the corner, uh, you don't see anything at at, uh, at 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 odd ends or anything like that. It's actually a smaller uh, room. It's it's longer than it is uh, wide. It contains three uh, stone slab coffins. Uh, however, it looks like none of them have been opened. Man, either like these people were really lazy or we are just really efficient because they didn't touch shit in here. Well, they were in the front room, so maybe they just hadn't gotten back far enough yet. Or maybe they're tidier than they are intelligent. Hmm. Or they have a specific target in mind. I like the first option because it makes us look good. <laughs> Fair point, fair point. Can't argue that, can't argue that. <laughs> so, uh, what would you like to do next? 
uh, I'll slink my way up to the other room and sure. peer around the corner as well. Sure, sure. So, uh, make a perception check for me, please. <laughs> it's too dark. I'm sorry. Well, um, Taglio will. Hilarious, because I know you have dark vision. Uh, yeah. I don't have dark vision. No. Oh, you don't. Oh, I'm a human. Oh, I I apologize. I saw the. I thought I saw pointy ears. Oh. Uh, no, it is. It is simply uh too dark. You can see a little bit down that the fact that there are stairs and that there is a wall uh, opposite of them, but past that, uh, the room is a mystery. All right. Yeah, so uh, Voltar just calls back, guys. I keep forgetting I can't see in the dark. Why should we, please? <laughs> I got it. Taglia will come up and take a peek. I can fix that, but then everyone else will be able to see us even better than we can <laughs> see them. All right. So, perception? And I will cast guidance on you. Just a little hand on the shoulder, and you'll get a 1d4 extra to that as well. E. Oh! That's Fantastic. a cantrip, isn't it? It yep. is. God, it's like the best cantrip ever. It really I'm is. I'm gonna need it! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Wow. <laughs> Our attack rolls, amazing. Our damage rolls and literally anything else, garbage. <laughs> Terrible. Yup, another another one. Trash. I'm sorry. You you don't you don't spy anything around the corner, even with uh with guidance, because you know, natural one natural one. Um <laughs> but um Ripperonies. I know, right? My what? my chat cursed me, I blame them. Oh. <laughs> oh, how mean. How mean of them to they, do that? They were telling me I was just going to get murdered, so... Oh, poor Morg. I'm sorry. Poor Dag Guess Taglio. Taglio's end of days. But, um... Alright, fine. Do you want me to give it a look, too? Well, there we go. Yeah. Might as well. So what will, what will Sil, uh, Silvera do? Gotta will she be... That. Uh, what, you know, when I'm not teleporting across the map, uh, I may take a couple more steps forward and also peek around the corner. Sure. And make a, make a perception check, fingers crossed. I'll give you guidance. <laughs> you now have guidance. Congratulations. Thanks. There we go. I was, I was, I was about to say it's too dark again. Um... <laughs> No, uh, I'm no. A half I know, I know, I know. <laughs> um, we have an ad coming up in a minute. It's starting soon, so we. I'm gonna wait because Twitch likes to like not like it, it. It counts down to one and zero, and then it just sits there and it waits menacingly <laughs> to play the yeah. ad. So we will hold off once it starts. If it if it starts, because it's it's not. There we go. <laughs> Three minute ad. Yeah, just just started. Yep. Sorry, folks. Um, we will. You'll just notice Fox. Yeah, he's my little helper. He's my little <laughs> helper. Um, it's just a little guy. Mm-hmm. A little cultist little guy. Little, little little dungeon master helper. Um. No, I, I uh, we're going to take a quick three minute uh, reprieve from interactions, character interactions and whatnot. So we'll put the game on hold for a second. Mm -hmm. But I hope everybody's in, enjoying. Oh, what yeah. We're doing, having a good yeah, time. A time. No, I hate everything about it. Well, get out. <laughs> <laughs> Leave now. Leave, I do I don't wanna. Leave now or forever hold your pee. <laughs> we already but, had the final piss. I did the final pee before stream, and I already have to pee. You enjoyed Carver <laughs> asking people questions. Fantastic, amazing. Yeah, Carver's Carver's been very much like, I guess I'll do it, and then just not. <laughs> Listen, Carver sets him up. Volthar knocks him down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's Taglio's it's just tag in the teaming. corner, cursing out, a, cursing out his short bow. Something like that, right? But uh, these are going to be one shots. 
uh, we will have a different one next month uh, with perhaps a different cast. You may see these characters again. However, as I mentioned, we're not doing a campaign. Uh, and the only reason for that is because, no offense, but I cannot do a on-stream campaign uh, as much as I would want to. I would want so to do it work. every other week, so and I cannot do that. So, also, because my work schedule is random, um, I don't XD. know when I'd be available. Yeah, very, very random XD. I, uh, whatchamacallit, um next uh next week i'm kind of annoyed because i work uh i usually only work like three days in a row as it were which is nice but uh i i work the next five days for some god-awful reason and i only work two days in the next pay period and i'm just kind of like why but that's gross yeah that's pretty garbo a little bit i don't know what's going on pain and suffering Someone's probably on vacation, but um, a reminder that this adventure in its entirety is actually currently available on my coffee. It uh, down below. Hey. There's a coffee link. K O dash F I. Uh, you can get it for free for free. Uh, pay what you want, even if that's zero. And you can run this adventure yourselves. It's very short. It's meant for uh roughly four people ish and it's very ambiguous with its rulings so it can be fit into D D or other systems exactly for free. Free. Is that why there's for a coffee free. stain on the map what <laughs> yes because yeah coffee stain coffee. Is yes great. it is it is part of the uh part of the pdf uh the 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 vtt ready map it's it's on there it needed to be but we are back from the ad. Welcome back, everybody. Hello. Ooh. So, uh, we, we solved oh. everything. We have solved yeah, everything. You, you missed it. You missed guys, it. We're sorry. The we're the 20. I'm a god now. You missed the <laughs> yeah, amazing climax. Oh. Um, but anyway. I mean, we couldn't climax on streams, so. <laughs> true. Yeah, it's true. You it it's true. Break. It's true. Well, pretty quick. Well, Skills. I mean, I don't know. Three minutes is. I don't know. I mean, I know skills. I, I skills. skills. Yeah, no. And I also know that some uh, some people find it very flattering. It's efficiency. It, yeah, it, or it's just plain efficient. You know, you got shit to do that day. Um, <laughs> but anyway, also, everybody hydrate. How about that? Uh, Hail hydrate. Hydrate exactly. or hydrate. Hail hydrate. I need to do that way more. Uh, Silvira. Mm. Silva Say the name again, please. So it, I decided to make the E actually have a sound, so it's Silvira. Silvira, thank you. It's mm -hmm. I, the way I've been remembering it is is it's like Elvira, like the but like it's Sel Selvira, the horror, yep. like lady. Yeah, yeah. But with an S. The horror, the horror yeah, lady. Leo just calls her Vera. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So when you're here for free, it reminds you one thing. Thanks, Twitch. You're welcome. Um but mm -hmm. you uh the darkness God damn it. The darkness does not deter you. And uh you can easily see around the corner. It's a longer corridor. Uh there's a few bodies that are actually sitting on the uh floor. They look like they've been rummaged through already. Uh, however, there are no coffins available, and uh, there's no like, uh, there's no there's no ne'er do wells uh, within sight. Sniff, desecrating the dead. <laughs> well, there's nothing this way, at least not that I can see. So I think we can keep moving forward. All right, then. I'm gonna I'm gonna lean over to to Volthar and be like. Haven't we like desecrated dead before on like one or two of our jobs or something? Is this listen? Is this, listen, is whatever this... whatever she needs to like make it through the day. Like we all got our problems. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Tagler just true. like covers his mouth and amazing. just like amazing, <laughs> amazing. I pointedly 
ignore them. <laughs> mm, just, 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 you know that she hears you and just does not acknowledge. <laughs> Vera, just like I'm traveling with a bunch of idiots. I'm just like, I'm just no, picturing, no. I'm picturing Carver leaning over to Volthar like the fish that says, like, this is a lot of barnacles. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Look, so, the ends may sometimes justify the means, but my ends. And your, well, no, no, my means and wait. <laughs> it's okay. Take your time, love. Take your time, love. I love yes. philosophy. Talks. My, our y'all? ends are the it's same. Really stimulating. But my means may be different than yours. There. That's what I was getting at. <laughs> Let's see. Not all butts are the same in the end. They're all different ends. Uh, anyway. They're all nice, though. Thanks. Let's let's move forward. So the corridor uh, uh, keeps going and ends, and there is another little uh, stairwell. Uh, not really well, I guess. A little stair thing uh, up on the it's left hand side. Bad. It's not well at all. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> So All right, who's taking who's taking the look? Let who's me, who's who's peeping? I'll, uh, um, I was gonna say I'll do it, but <laughs> no, I've you. It's a good touch. You know the touch is good. And I just I'll do it. You gotta phrase it like that, man. I'll do it. Oh, All right, boy. and then just a little rub of the hands, guidance. I need to switch places, or. Can I just slide nah. in and peek around the corner? Nah, just peek around. It's fine. <coughs> oh. Let's get all close and personal. It's good. 19. Oh. All right. There Holy we go. moly. Don't forget they add the D4. Well, it feels like I did something. <laughs> Wait. Apparently that moves you too. No. Uh, I need to do something. Where are you? Yeah! Hey! Yeah! There you go. Dirty 20. To a tw- dirty 20. Fantastic. Ooh. Well, you... Uh, so what do you, my eyes perceive? You peek around the corner, and it's a much <laughs> larger place. room than uh, than the other areas. Um, it is inhabited by quite a few people, you can tell. Um, and there's even some crates stacked off to the side. Uh, there's various pillars around the room that kind of block your sight occasionally, but uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna have them roll perception, one of them, real fast, and see what happens. Oh. Oh. Yeah. No, they they see you peeking. Um, it's uh it's actually a a, a half orc in the middle, right here. <laughs> he sees you peeking, and uh. He he looks directly at Taglio and just kind of he just he just he he has a weapon in hand and with his free hand he waves. He's like, "Hey, I see you. No use in hiding." Taglio uh, raises his hand very slowly and offers like the smallest wave back before he dips back around the corner. Right, so there's at least six of them. Uh, one of them saw me. Seems like a nice fellow, though. Can't get a full okay. view of the room. Um, Probably about as bright as the others. Why don't you come yeah, out and so. talk? Uh, and Volthor's like, yeah, okay. And just walks around the corner <laughs> like, hello! Hi. Oh, damn it. I should not join this conversation. I'm going to also just kind of, I'm going to go here for now. Tagli was like, I'm just going to stay right here. Welcome, right now. <laughs> Welcome greetings, to our greetings. little party. We're backing you up, Volta. It's fine. How nice of you to join us. Yeah, it's so nice to be had. Thank you for the invitation. Of course, of course. I, I, I am a, I am a understanding businessman. And uh, if possible, I would like to avoid any conflicts of interest. So, mm. what say you? You turn around and you go back that way, 
and we forget all this happened. But it's, you see, the problem is, I feel like if I do that, uh, I have you're going to continue to desecrate like this whole thing here, and that's kind of bad, you know. It's not the best. Uh, and so, and I'm gonna. This this is just what's coming out of the brain of Volthar. I'm just gonna do the, this big fucking deception reach. Uh, we're kind of emissary sent by the god of this church to stop you. Uh, it's a holy avenging order, so you maybe need to stop it for worse things happen. Oh, deception. Taglio is good at that. Actually, I wanna, actually, I want him to back him up. Actually, uh, roll deception, Volthar. Then go for it. See what see what happens. Eleven. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna give him a flat uh, insight check. Yes! <laughs> Amazing. He he scratches his chin. <laughs> he scratches his chin. And uh, I... sub gives me power. You know what? I thought I had that off. One second. I know I... Oh, I didn't have the alert <laughs> box off entirely. There we go. Oh, now man. it's off. You're good. Um, He so... scratches his chin. And he goes... And he goes... Well, I don't know. I've I've already I've already dealt with holy men. I don't I don't. That's kind of worked out in my favor already. So, I think that you and I can maybe cut a better deal. What 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 kind of deal are you trying to get here then? He uh he actually he actually walks over to the nearest crate. And uh, uh, and he he pops it open, and he reaches inside, and uh, he he pulls out a little sealed envelope, and he tosses it to you. I just go that's that that kind of deal. Okay, Volthar will catch it, and I guess open it up and see what's inside. Uh, there is squeaks. There is a uh, measure of a light blue powder inside. Make an intelligence check. Oh, boy. <laughs> Do you say knowledge? No, and only Volthar. 17. <clears throat> Fantastic. You know, at a glance, that this is dream dust. Uh, it is a illegal narcotic. It causes euphoric hallucinations when when used. Uh, it is taken. Um, uh, it is, for lack of a better term, snorted. Uh, however, it is highly illegal due to its addictive qualities and dangerous side effects. Users become irritable and unable to find joy in the world around them without the drug, and it gets progressively worse. Uh, however, also. Constant use causes internal bleeding in the lungs, which eventually lead to respiratory failure and death. Oh. Uh, so Volthar is going to stare at that, um, slowly close it, uh, and just like lean back into the hallway and just looks at the two other party members. It's like, yeah, we're going to have to kill these guys. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to have to. <laughs> dream, My immediate hold, thought. Hold up the envelope like dream powder. Like we have to, we have to. <clears throat> Tag the, like if, if you tell him that it's dream powder, he's gonna be like, I wonder if I can turn that into an arrow. <laughs> Offensive drugs. <laughs> oh my lord. The most like the, little... the when when the phrase aggressive drug dealer is taken infinitely too literally. He, he doesn't... literally just forms it into a little powder sachet <laughs> thing that he puts on an arrow and he just shoots it in people's Oh, it doesn't do any harm. It just, you know. To, uh, he actually not he be able to fight anymore. <laughs> he doesn't hear your little uh, uh, huddle with your friends okay. around the corner. Good, good. Uh, so um, Volthar just like like tries to seal it up best he can and just like uh seems to pocket it and then uh puts hands together. And is like so uh thing is 
Uh, and then he is going to cast Eldritch Blast at him. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, we'll have a surprise round. Is. Go ahead and make an attack. Uh, you know what? Add advantage. Okay, I'll roll twice then. Nice. Oh, uh, a dirty 20. Fantastic. That hits him. Damage. I'll take six. six. Hey, that's Respectful. fine. Uh, one second. Drugs Let is the me. thing that he did in his criminal days that led to a lot of bad stuff, so he's like, no. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> and then... Let me... <clears throat> get this going there we go uh so there is that uh ephemeral crack that happens from an eldritch blast going off and it uh it it snags him in the shoulder and he it wins him slightly and he and he uh he kind of falls back against the crate and kind of like you know just he catches himself and he stands mm -hmm. back up and he's like fuck it get him and uh, everybody needs to roll initiative Boop, boop. Oh. Well, you're not. The dice taketh. The dice oh taketh and the dice uh, don't. So we got a 16. <clears throat> I, I got another 9. I got a dirty 20. I got a 3. Uh, and then they're barely better. So that's great. Uh, so first up is, uh, Morg. What would you like to do? Oh boy. Uh, well, let's see. I'm going to do the stealth thing. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, you're hidden. I am not seen. Yep. Uh, and then I will move uh, right there. Sure. Uh, this music's take interesting. A, take a pot shot with my bow at the, the orc. Sure. <clears throat> Go for it. For eight. Cool. Rip. Uh, eight. That's a total of what? Uh, with hidden, is an advantage. Oh, right. I mean, still, that's a crit. That's a yeah. Uh, wait, no, that's a hit. Wait, no. I'm sorry, I was reading self. Uh, with advantage, that's still a miss. Yeah, I figured. I saw the eight, and so... I assume damage. No, you're you're good. I'm gonna mark him here. We did a six to him. There we go. That did not help me. That did not help me at all. Never mind. <clears throat> anyway, that's a miss. Um. And now, next up, we've got uh, Damien. All righty. Actually, well, Damien, you were supposed to go first. My mistake. That's okay. Uh, all right. Well, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shake my head and go like, y'all should know, dealing drugs is bad for the community, and that makes me very disappointed in you. And I'm gonna go into a rage. <gasps> Angry lumberjack tiefling man. Yep. God, he is a dad. <laughs> I'm a dad. Uh, I'm free on Friday when I'm free on Friday, Carver. Uh... I feel like as soon as Carver goes into a rage, Taglia is just like, ah, shit. It's, <laughs> it's it like just backs a, up against the wall. It's, it's the it's the whole like. It's it's not the like screaming grog critical role yelling rage. It's the like, you snuck out. And went underage drinking and you came home and dad just got up from the chair in the living room when you were sure he was supposed to be upstairs asleep. Oh my God. And he's Amazing. not happy. Uh, oh. I, so I, I've actually read that before about a thing about uh, people wanting rage to like be fueled by different emotions. And one of them said uh, like, what about sadness? And um, like the, 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 the barbarian fighter or the barbarian human is like, encountering the goblin and he starts crying mm -hmm. and the goblin oh. laughs and and the barbarian goes these tears aren't for me <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh damn amazing cold. and he just goes into a rage uh anyway it is it is it is your turn that is your i believe your bonus action to fly into a rage what are yep. you gonna do 
I'm gonna scoot in and I'm gonna move right here. I think. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take a swing at uh at at at, at the at the orc. Go for um, it. Um Oh, I can also say I can go into a frenzy as well. So um, when I go into a rage, so when I go into a frenzy, I can mm -hmm, make a single mm -hmm. melee weapon attack as a bonus action as Correct. each on each of my turns after this one. Yes. So my next turn, I get an extra bonus damage or yes, extra yes. bonus attack. Um. So I get plus two melee damage with strength weapons. Uh, sure. Resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, blah blah blah. Okay. Yep. So. Let's uh let's see let's see if I hit Mr. Mr. Orcface. Yep, you'll get an extra one to hit and damage, and then you gain resistance to all pretty much physical damage, which is insane. Yeah. <sighs> you no. miss. In your haste, you swing the axe and it uh it clanks loudly but ineffectively off of the pillar next to you. God dang it! And next up, it is uh, Whisper's turn. I was debating if I should back Carver up. Do it. Do whatever you Do like. It. I can I mean, get the, the rest. Don't you worry about it. The leader is the most serious <laughs> threat. I'm going to close the distance. And I already have my shield and my sword out. Very holy music going I'm right now. Go here. That way, she has to make some decisions about what she's going to do too. Well, 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 well. There it goes. Oh, cool. an attack. Uh, 15. Uh, who? I swing my sword. Who? At the orc man who's dealing the drugs. Because <laughs> clearly he's wicked and dealing. disturbing this holy place. Dealing the drugs. Uh, unfortunately, exactly. he seems to be more capable than you thought. And he actually, uh, sidesteps slightly and, um, you miss with your longsword. They never warned us about this in Dare. <laughs> <laughs> And now it Dungeons is really evil. Wait, side steps? <laughs> he it's just pure description. You missed. No, 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 no. The they warned us, they never warned us in Dare about side steps. Oh, oh. I was oh, <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> um, next up is the bandits. Um Daddy Carver, they never warned me in Dare about steppies. My lord. <laughs> Oh no. So let's have some fun. Oh, how big is Whisper. it? What? I'm innocent, I swear. Look at me. Oh my I'm lord. this beautiful paladin, it's fine. <laughs> We're just innocent men. We're just innocent men. We're just men. normal men. We're just normal men. Um, just innocent men. Adventurers. We're just innocent adventurers. So, uh, this guy in the back, mm. uh, he's actually going to rummage in his pack and he's going to pull out a bottle and he's going to throw it at Volthar. Uh, I need to roll to hit. Actually, I don't because it doesn't matter. I need you all to make a uh, dexterity. Well, not you all. I need to make I need Volthar and uh, Taglio to make a dexterity. Charity save. Well, I think I failed. You did. Uh, Taglio's fine. Let me, let me, let me, let me draw this. Uh, oh God. Can I make it more transparent? It's fine. I have a child. Transparent. <laughs> I swear to God. Uh -uh. I like it. Uh. There we go. That works out. Perfect. Um, the bottle like whizzes past you. And I imagine Volthar being like, ha, you missed. 
and it and it smashes against the wall and uh there is now a quickly uh a, a puddle of grease quickly has formed underneath the two of you um oh. Taglio manages to keep his footing however both are unfortunately has fallen prone. I knew you were going to do grease it is the thing I hate most in BD3 more than anything else I hate grease <laughs> anyway <clears throat> yeah very much like ha you man <laughs> yep especially considering he's on the stairs oh no so it's just um <laughs> Oh, that's his turn. Stairs, dog. I know, right? Uh, oh, how dare you reference that in my home? <laughs> <laughs> so the the orc is uh he's the half orc. He's gonna try to attack Carver. Okay. Let's see what do we got. We got. I need to move this over here so I can reference it easier. Where are you, sir? All right. That's a 21 to hit. I'm pretty sure yeah, that hits. Yeah, I, I have an AC of 13. Well, that sounds like a personal problem. Uh, he's going to swing his axe at you and hit you for 15. Whoa. Holy crap. Yeah, that was max damage. He just he just <laughs> it's halved. It's oh, it's halved. Oh, so you only take uh, we round Rage. down. So you'll take six. Oh, wait, no, seven. You'll take seven, seven yeah. damage. You're fantastic. But yeah, he's like, yeah, he, he hefts his axe and he's I'm just like, I raged. Holy he shit. shakes. Yeah, he shakes his head and goes, this is an axe. And he swings at you and just catches you right into the side with it. Thankfully, uh, the rage numbs the pain. Um, Johnny Cash starts playing. <laughs> Hurt. <laughs> Anyway, um, (laughs) you're welcome. (laughs) Uh, Next up is going to be that's a circle. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, Next up is going to be this elf who is going to try to take a stab at Damien. They did not like him coming in all up in their steez and is also going to hit. Jesus, Jesus. uh, Good Lord. And stab at you for, for one, because because of, <laughs> of the rage. And she goes, yeah. Um, <laughs> and then we've got. I, I uh, feel like I I feel like I react more to to the like one damage than the than the big heavy hit. It's right. like it's like when so, it's like when you really slam like your hand against something and it's just kind of numb. But right. then you get like a paper cut and it's just like. Ah. Paper cuts are the worst. So the cl- elf closest to uh, <laughs> Selvira is is not going to hit with a seven. Uh, however, um, the other one uh, behind the pillar is going to attempt to hit with a bow and is going to crit. Oh, no. Uh, no 2d8. Is it double the bonus or just double the dice? Double the dice. Okay, oh, that's nice. what I figured. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, no. The arrow manages to catch a chink in the side of your armor and digs deeper than you would have expected, but you blame the close range as it bites deep. Take 13. Uh, and then the last dwarf or bearded uh, guy is going to actually take a few steps back and he's going to take a shot at Volthar. Who was that 13 on? Sorry, I heard the whole thing, but I missed the target. The 13 is on you. Oh, it's on me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> yeah, you don't have damage reduction. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no. It's fine. I'm like over here reading my spells, paying attention to the grid, listening to the damage, completely missing that it's me. <laughs> fair, fair, fair and valid. Uh, one second. Uh, within five feet, otherwise disadvantage. Well, they missed anyway. Um, uh, the, yes, this one. 
was going to shoot being at prone actually helps me Volthar. yeah exactly <laughs> the the arrow whizzes over you and uh uh, uh whizzes past leo and, and clanks against the wall uh however that is all their turns it is now volthar's turn okay <laughs> well i'll spend half my movement just getting up yep uh then i will go five ten fifteen uh the first thing volthar is going to do is uh with the with a hand with the rapier you just see him like flick a uh, flick a bolt of energy towards the half orc mm-hmm. uh, and casting hex. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, giving him disadvantage on strength checks. Correct. He needs to make a save, does he not? Nope. Oh, that's yeah. right. Hex just goes, doesn't it? Hex just yeah, happens. Yeah, it's okay. just the thing. Gotcha. So he now has disadvantage on strength checks. However, that does not apply to attacks. That nope. is just opposed checks, and that's fine. Uh, and that's, that's your my bonus action. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So for my action action, uh, you're just gonna see um, Volthar like drag the the blade across his shield, uh, and an explosion of black tentacles are gonna come out of it uh, as oh. he casts Arms of Hadar. Oh, okay. Uh, which is just gonna hit the squares around him. Hopefully, getting those two people. Uh, so they need to make strength saving throws. Since it's spell, it would not be affected by cover, would it? Correct. Right. Okay. So strength saving throws. They have low strength. Plus one. There's the first one. Ah! There's the second one. Okay, well, uh, the still take half damage, but suffers no other effect. Sure. Uh, and the other one will uh, take the full damage and can't take reactions until their next turn. Fantastic. So What's I'll the damage? The damage. Uh, it's 3d6. That's a lot. <laughs> oh, so, 10 damage. 10 damage. All right. The so. Will take five. Right. Uh, so the. Uh, the tentacles hit um uh hit the like one <laughs> say it like what why do, you got, why do you have to get all close to the microphone and I say didn't. it all as i i didn't did. it sounded didn't. like it do you want me to get close to the mic i don't please i don't know about that and say tentacles please tentacles. i'm really out here like so the attack of the tentacles, tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> anyway the explosion of tentacles <laughs> So uh, the first one takes five, yeah, and uh, is is reeling, it's is hurt but still standing and uh, can still take their reaction. The other one, however, um, the tentacles just are relentless and wrap around the uh, pillar, offering them no safety, and choke the life out of them. Oh, nice! So they have. See, I told you I got tentacles this. Tentacles are always relentless. <laughs> they just don't stop. Um next up we have uh whoa, almost knocked over my water. It's in a cup, don't worry about it. Um we have top of the round, Damien, your turn. Alright. I'm just gonna kinda like give a dirty look to the the elf that that stabbed me in the uh-huh. back but then uh-huh. turn back to the uh to the orc and i'm just gonna i'm gonna make a reckless uh with the great axe go for it Ooh, that is a hit yeah. let's go That's what I'm talking about. Nice. so it's it's 1d12 plus two plus i think an additional two plus one i believe because it gives you plus two strength no, right it's it's it says on my thing on uh D Beyond, mm-hmm. you gain advantage on strength checks yep. and saving throws, not yep. attacks, plus two melee damage with strength weapons. Gotcha. Okay, so plus two strength damage, not plus two to hit. Got it. Okay. Correct. That's Correct. still gonna hit regardless. So So it's one D twelve plus four. So we're adding plus two to this. Correct. So one D twelve plus six. So So thirteen. Thirteen. No, no, it because it's one d twelve plus two, and then I added an additional two, so so thirteen. 
Yeah. Yes, that is that is what I said. Thirteen. <laughs> I thought you said sixteen for some reason. I don't. Did know. I? No. But anyway, yes, thirteen damage. I'm just gonna kind of like give the dirty look to the to the elf and say like, "Nah, this here's an axe," and just swing it back at him. <laughs> dirty look at the orc. You mean? Got it. Yeah. Understood. And Understood. Then... Uh, he grunts uh loudly and takes the axe in the shoulder he is still standing his 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 knees buckle under the force of your blow uh he gives you a excited grin uh and is still and is uh still conscious and standing so i'm i'm gonna just mutter weirdo and then i'm gonna pull my axe out and use my frenzy bony action bonus action to uh Attack your the elf. your your frenzy boning action, okay? Oh, okay. more about Amber's frenzy boning Bones? action. I will not actually. Are you talking about boning. <laughs> so roll roll a hit. Welcome to lives D. That's gonna miss. We've got boning. That We've missed. got so, articles. That's okay. It's, it's he. It's, it's, I'm still not really looking at them behind me. I'm just. Hey, I just swing back. That's fair. He he uh he uh uh. Uh, as he grins, he can see the second swing coming, and he just ducks. Um, next up is Taglio. All right, all right, all right. Uh... <clears throat> uh okay. Um. <coughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot. <laughs> You're just gonna shoot who? Oh, sorry, the orc. Okay, that is going to hit. How dare you spray me? <laughs> I'm right. Uh, that's gonna hit. And okay. It will be a sneak attack, so roll an extra 2d6 with that. An extra 2d6, you said? Mm -hmm. Correct. No bonus, just 2d6. Ooh. Ooh. Ouch. All right. The dice Ooh. The dice giveth them. The, the dice take away. Um, so so in, the, in, the, in the one fluid motion, uh, he takes the axe from Damien, uh, or he gets hit, rather, um, grins no, 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 at him no 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 definitely say he takes the axe that okay. was the right choice okay he, he takes, takes the axe from Damien. <laughs> he takes the axe from damien <laughs> whispers encouraging me that's this, this is not my fault uh she takes you supposed he, to be the paladin he well he takes the so axe from damien the paladin, not me <clears throat> and uh grins ducks under the second swing and as he rises just takes an arrow into the eye and falls back dead against the crate in just one fluid motion. Carver's just gonna go, God damn it! I'm just not wait, 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 wait. Are you happy or are you upset? I can't tell. I just can't seem to finish today. Oh, that upset. sounds like a skill issue. I I'll see. Help you out with that later, buddy. Don't worry. Whisper, it's your turn. <laughs> Well, thank you for handling it for me. I um, place my hand that's uh, like got the shield on the arm mm -hmm. on my chest and I use lay on hands on myself. Fantastic. I'm only like four health fam. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm going to give myself back 10 of my pool of 15 hit points. There you go. So nice. you're back up to 14. Wonderful. Sec. Axe acoustics. Oh my god. And while I'm at it, as my bonus action, I say a little prayer at the end of that to um activate divine favor on myself. Ooh. And that does. Um it's a concentration mm -hmm. and it lasts up to a minute. It uh, makes my weapon attacks deal an extra 1d4 radiant damage on hit. 
Fantastic. Ooh. Uh, I believe that is your turn, correct? Yes, I'm not moving, so yes. Okay, just making sure, because I believe that was, what, action and bonus action? That was action? an action for Lay on Hands mm-hmm, and a bonus mm-hmm. action for my spell. Got it. Fantastic. Okay, uh, next up, we have the bandits. Um, They didn't really appreciate most of that. Uh, so um, this elf here is going to deal with the immediate threat. However, thieves are cunning. Um, they see how deep they see how deep that arrow is, and they're going to try to hit uh, Silvira. And is that a no? Nope, just yeah. barely. Just barely. Yep. You get your shield up in time. The other one is is also going to attempt to hit. Uh, the same elf, and that is also going to miss. Damn. Again, she's she's in it now. Barely. Yeah, but but like Paladins. got her got her second win doing well. Uh, then. The two back here, actually, they they're they're like uh, the the one in front uh, yells to the one in the back, get the sharpshooter. And uh, they're both going to try to take sh- shots at uh, Taglio in the back. Which oh, is <laughs> going to be uh, the first one's going to be a, just a miss. Yeah, all right. And the second one, I'm pretty that sure hits. Hit. Yeah, yep. hit. Uh so the 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 first one whizzes past you and a split second later, you get hit with the second one for 10. Just just Ouch. right in the thigh. Oh. Uh, and then I believe that's actually all the bandits turn because the other two are are have have died. I'm actually going to see if I can change this slightly. Can I do that? You just hear Taglio cursing yeah. in the in the yeah. hall. You nasty little blighter. Oh, my God. <laughs> On my Christian D&D show. Uh you brought in tentacle um, choking. Don't you say that. <laughs> Next up <laughs> is Volthar. Volthar, what is it? What is what are, what are you doing? All right. Volthar is going to move right here. Um, and then another like little flick of the rapier as the hex is now applied to this elf right next to me. Uh-huh. uh-huh. And I'm going to try to do a smack with the rapier. Smack with the rapier. Go for it. That is oh. that is gonna hit. Okay, so I will do one uh, d eight plus three and an extra one d six damage. Correct. Or eight damage total. Fantastic. Uh, just nice. Just, just the flick to a smooth stab, rapier into the sternum. You can feel the 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 breath leave the 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 thief, and once you pull the rapier from their chest, they fall to the ground dead. Uh, and as they fall to the ground dead, uh, Volthar looks towards Carver and goes, "Carver, I finished twice today." Oh my god! I'm just gonna. Awesome. I'm just gritting my teeth. <laughs> Fantastic! Just like. Like it's like it's making the rage worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, good news, good news. Uh, it is it is Carver's turn again. Carver's just gonna like spin around from the orc and just like catch the, the the bandit uh, right there and just uh-huh, like uh-huh. it's the it's the thing where it's like they're looming above you, just looking down, extremely mad. Yeah, and it's like. It's not even necessarily your fault specifically, but it's just like, you know, you're in for a bad time. Mm-hmm. Ro- 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 roll. And that is going to miss. God damn it. But I'm pretty sure you're going to do your frenzy attack. So go ahead and do that one. I sure am. 
Uh, I don't think there's anything that says that I can't do the frenzied attack as a reckless. So I don't I'm, believe so, no. So go so for I'm it. I'm going to do it as a reckless. That God is also going to miss. I'm sorry, Carver is just not to performing today. <laughs> it's Carver's curse. Obviously. The fate of barbarians, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, Put next in front of up. some wood, and he's just an expert. Yep. Expert it's at wood. It's so much easier when they're not moving. You can finish that way. <laughs> More gets your oh. turn. Taglio, what will you do? Uh, all right. Um, well, uh, he's going to take a shot at the guy who shot him. Okay, go for it. Uh, roll with disadvantage. How do I do that? Just, just, just hit the roll button. And we'll take the lower result. Seven. That's a miss. Damn. It, 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 it clanks off of the, the, the pillar he's using as cover. Sorry. Uh, would you like to do anything else? This music has lyrics. Uh, take cover. I guess. Uh, I mean, you, you can, yeah, you can, you can take a step back, uh, downwards. Uh, and if you want to like dip behind that wall, that'll be full cover. Yeah. Okay. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Uh, afterwards we have the lovely Silvara again. I trust you to handle it. She says to the frustrated <laughs> Carver and moves towards, uh, uh, no, actually, I'm going to stay there. You don't want that attack of opportunity. Can Never I, mind. Can I interrupt for a second? The most mm -hmm. recent clip, the the hyperlink is Flaccid Sassid, Sassy Pistachio Ralpher. Oh. What? That's, that's Thanks, fantastic. Twitch. Thanks, Twitch. Oh, my lord. <laughs> so. Beautiful. No, in fact, I'm going to stay here, Carver. Let me help you carve that. <gasps> oh, my God. Don't you... F I swear to God. <laughs> She's going to give you a hand aid. Yes, exactly. I take a wide swing at the elf in front of me. Uh, that is actually going to miss. There, there, there's slippery and bugger. Would you like to do anything else? Mm. No, I'm going to stay here. Fair, fair. I'm I'm sorry, Carver. The hand aid was not that good. Uh, they're like, up next. See, it ain't that easy. They're squirmy. Clearly. Well, we're gonna try to. She's 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 really gonna try to hit Carver again because she's full of confidence now. That oh is my just my AC. Meter beat. And then you're going to take... Ooh. Max oh, damage okay. again, which but is only going to be half, Yikes. so it's going to be four. So take four. It's fine. You have 20, you have 20 left. You'll be fine. Um, yeah. And then the other two, uh, now missing their uh, previous targets, are kind of unhappy. Um... Hmm. They okay. So this one right here is gonna take a shot at Silvara, Sil Silvira, because he's like, well, that one can heal. I don't like that. And he's going to miss. Just arrow off the shield. Just clink. Uh, the other one is gonna take a shot at Volthar. Because tentacle bullshit is like, well, I'm not into that. <laughs> and just Ooh. crit fail. Just Ooh. absolute Ooh. miss. Like, completely wide shot. Uh, in fact, gets closer to hitting Sylvira than, more than both are. <laughs> um, but. Uh, Rude. Next up is. Volthar. It is, it is your turn. 
All right, I'm gonna move here, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to do the hex thing to the one on my right. Go for it. Uh, who just tried it so far and tried to hit him with a rapier. <laughs> uh, that is oh a hit. God. Putting in work. Yeah, right. you are. Uh, roll the damage and then roll 1d6. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so that's going to be 11 damage total. Ouch. Yeah, they Good they Lord. are very unhappy. Their, their attention is now focused on you. They're just like, fuck, where'd you come from? Uh, and I then told you I got this. <laughs> both hards just doing the whole job themselves. Um, <laughs> next up, uh, Damien, top of the round. All right, I'm just gonna be like, I'm I'm gonna give uh, give uh, Silvera a look of of just like, don't you fucking take this from me? <laughs> and I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna swing my great axe with I need uh, this. reckless. Go for it. God damn it. <laughs> the, it. The dice hate you today. That is a they, that is a miss. Uh, bonus action. Second Friend, attack. Yep. Frenzied attack. Reckless. Yep. That there is a hit. Go. Congratulations. Now don't roll a one for damage. I'm what going to scrum it if you do. another two so that's 13 fantastic uh the 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 axe giveth and the axe taketh away in this case the <laughs> elf's life uh no uh mustering mustering his rage carver uh almost splits the 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 elf in twain with with his axe hot dog this or hamburger My brain just broke. I'm sorry. <laughs> you said you said I split the elf and twain. I'm saying which way? Hot dog or hamburger? Long ways or short ways? Oh, okay. I'm vertically. I'm sorry. That did I not feel equate like to an me. Over the head. Over the head. Down the middle is yeah. always the most dramatic. Yeah, 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 yeah. From 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 collar to hip. And Volthar just thinks this is the guy who was queasy about corpses. <laughs> I mean, about make bloodless them? corpses, bloodless yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. corpses. Carver, when they have blood in them, they're fine. Ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The textures, it's a texture thing. <laughs> it's a texture thing. Amazing. <laughs> Carver just they're doesn't like jerky. Jerky corpses. They they're just chew hydrated. Oh my god. It's a, now it's it's the difference between gushers versus jerky. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, Carver might be dying. Um, Morg, it's your turn. Unless Carver oh, okay. wants to move. Yeah. No, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna like. I'm just gonna sit there for a minute and just go like, oh, fucking finally, Jesus. I mean, uh, no. <laughs> uh, 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 Morg I Taglio, it is yes, your I turn. Him. I right. turn. Uh, I will. Oh, I keep doing that. <laughs> What will you do? I will have Taglio move back over here. He like he is. just kind of leans out. What will he say? <laughs> Go ahead and uh, which one are you? He commit? Wh like, which he's still, he's still cursing under his breath because he's yeah, yeah. an arrow sticking out of his thigh. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, let me see. And it's gonna top or bottom. Top. Okay. Morg is topping. Uh, roll the hit. Right, yeah. <laughs> Taglio ah. could not top. I'm sorry. Uh, the whiz, the arrow just whizzes past again. He's just, all it's not, I know. Um, no follow through. You and nope. You can still move. Uh, I believe. Yeah, I can take a step back. I think. Yeah, go ahead and. I would I would do that back in a slink back in a cover through all that delicious grease. Um and then it is hear him just cursing like up a storm. He's just cursing he's cursing in Fay, he's cursing in Goblin. Oh my god. <laughs> um next up it is uh Sil Silvira's turn, and I assume that uh, her ears do not hear all of these delicious curses. Uh she's pointedly ignoring them there we go <laughs> to head backwards 
this time does wave the hand over her shoulder, actually mm-hmm. pats Carver on the shoulder and says, see, you got it. And it's <laughs> back to the, is it actually a dwarf? Uh, just no, there's bandit men. The bandit men. Green They're bandit. Bearded. Bearded men. Oh, Innocent bearded men. Bearded bandit. Innocent bearded okay. bandit. Just normal bandits. Just normal bandits. <laughs> the West. The, why, is, why does it sound like a. Like a what do you mean, normal bandits? Like, this is the Western bearded bandit. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. From, from, from. Very rare at this time of year. From Westeros. <laughs> I prefer oh the God. ones from Easteros. <laughs> I'm from South Rose myself. God damn it. <laughs> I give a good attempt to take his head off. You know the armor? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And the helmet, there's space in between them. Yeah, yeah, of course. Go ahead and go ahead and roll the hit. That is a hit. It's a good hit. That is a good hit. Roll for damage. Well, uh, and I need to add another 1d4 to that. You do. I have to remember how to type it in manually. I've been uh, hitting the buttons. Slash roll d <laughs> roll space 1d4 or just d4. There you go. Oh. Four. Whoa. Dang. Dang. That's all the damage. 13. Uh, That's max damage. And, God, and, 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 uh, Silvira. It is. It's actually. <laughs> it is, yeah, isn't it? Beautiful. It is. 100% wow. perfect damage. Uh huh. Silvara. I'm just imagining the video game screen yeah. that just pops up with perfect. Exactly. Perfect. <laughs> nice cock. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, it was the really uh, uh, in, in perfect practice faction, Silvara uh, demonstrates her discipline as she did earlier in the catacombs and. Uh, removes his head from his shoulders in one clean stroke. The basics. The basics. However, we have an ad coming up, and it's been two hours, so we are actually going to take a 15-minute break. Uh, I'm going to put some tunes on. (laughs) Everybody chill. Uh, We're going to have... We'll be back in 15 minutes. Get up, stretch, get some water, get some snacks. We're just going to take... The only 15 minute break for the show. And uh, we hope you're all enjoying. BRB, everybody.
All right, folks. Uh, a couple of our players are still on break. Uh, they should be back shortly. But while we wait, music is still good. But uh, does anyone have any questions? Any questions, concerns? Thoughts? Because this has been a lot of fun. Like it's it's been it's been a lot of fun. Why did your voice scare the shit out of you? I don't know, but I'm 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 very grateful that all of you are here. It's it's been a joy today. It really has. Uh, I've literally been working on my ass off for the past forty eight hours to get this together. Uh, <laughs> but um, also, I noticed there were some issues with uh, the PDF for Catacomb Kerfuffle. A couple spelling mistakes. <clears throat> Excuse me. A couple spelling mistakes, and I believe a format error. Um, I will... Uh, like, it's not a big deal. Um, but uh, I'll update. Uh, I'll update it. And I'll post the updated one tomorrow. I'll make a Twitter post to, like, announce that there is the update for it. Um, but if that doesn't deter you, if you want to head to the coffee shop and check it out, feel free. Again, it's pay what you want, so you can put a zero. I don't care. I'm just happy to share. Hello, Bert. What happened? Um, so uh, they have um, the the group, as it were, have been. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They were uh, a, a priest by the name of Father Karsten pleaded with them to uh, remove the bandits or thieves that were currently ransacking the catacombs under the church. Um, they had already dealt with one group and they're on the second one now. They're actually just cleaning up. Uh, I believe they have one one ne'er do well left and they have found out that the thieves are dealing in a illegal narcotic called dream dust. Um, but, uh, it is a, um, whatchamacallit, uh, it's, it's an illegal narcotic that causes a euphoric, causes euphoric hallucinations and is highly addictive. So, secret church smuggling ring, exactly. <coughs> and thank you, Whisper. Uh, we are still waiting on one more, I believe. So, Damien is still AFK, but uh, Morg, I believe, just got back. Oh, and Damien's back. All right. Let's go ahead. One second. All right, everybody. Damien's back. I got a sound off from Ganon and from, I know Whisper's back, and I believe I yep, just heard from Morg. All right. Great. Fantastic. Let me pause this music as much as I love down by the river. And yeah, we'll... I'm just setting up my ice pack for my arm, so... No I'm problem. Just... No. Take care of it. Do it. Do it, do it. <sighs> do it to it. Whose turn was it last, I believe? Was um... it me cleaving the head off? Yes, yes. yes. that's right. Yeah. You, you mm -hmm. had cleaved his head straight off. Uh, also, in, Manny Marco called uh, my character Vera, and I love that as a nickname. It's a <laughs> fantastic <laughs> nickname, Vera. Um, That's literally what I said that Leo was just going to call her. Mm -hmm, it's true. Perfect. Tag Leo, Leo and did. Vera. We're both using yep. end of name nicknames. There you go. Well, thank you, Kiki. Therefore, um, we also need Ver and Far. Ah. <laughs> fantastic. Uh, or maybe Har. Har, Har, Har. Har, har, har. <laughs> anyway, uh, it was Whisper's turn. So now it's the bandit's turn. Um, Isn't it bandit? just it? I was going to say. <laughs> the, the one, the one bandit. Uh, <clears throat> uh, you know what? Mm -hmm. Self-preservation is a thing. Is it? It is weird so uh he is going Can to attempt to escape 
on his turn, and that means Volthar gets an attack of opportunity as as he moves out of that threatened square. And you know what's a fun thing? Huh? I have the feet Warcaster, so I get to use my Eldritch Blast as my opportunity attack. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Go now for let's it. Let's see if that hits a matter. <laughs> that hits. Oh, yeah. Oh, Holy moly. <laughs> And four. Well, Amazing. they can't all be winners. So that's four damage. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. One, two, three. That's 15. 16, 17. Wait, no. I'm sorry. I counted wrong. 5, <laughs> 10, 15, 20. 25, 30. Uh, well, he did a thing. He let's tried. let's see if let's see if he did the thing. There's a there's a certain thing that may have oh. just happened. Oh. Oh. Uh let me see. Let me see how I have it set up. One second. Where is it? Yeah, we'll we'll just we'll just make him roll for it. And Oh, he did a bad. Um, all right. Uh -oh. So oh, no. uh, you hear you hear the crack uh from uh Volthar's Eldritch Blast uh like just kind of um skim him, right? And then mm -hmm. um you uh you see him run, huffing, scrambling over himself to get down what looks to be like a tunnel that has been dug from the earth into the catacombs itself. And uh, then uh, there is a sudden whoosh uh, as there is an explosion. Ooh. Oh, oh, um, right where he's standing. Uh, there, uh, it whooshes out a little bit. Um, it actually singes the pillar that he passed by and the earth around the entrance. Uh, and once the smoke clears and the ringing stops in your ears, uh, you can see his crumpled corpse on the floor. Right, keep an eye out for traps, everybody. Isn't that I'm your that charm? I'm, I'm, I'm just imagining him in the Yamcha pose. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much what would happen. Yamcha pose, yeah. It's true. Although that said, I don't know about the rest of you, I'm feeling a bit winded. I think maybe we should take a short break. Yeah, that'd okay. be nice, considering I've got an arrow in my thigh. We just take a break. Let's run those ads. You've had worse. <laughs> right. Well, listen, we're not talking about last Thursday. <laughs> I'm not oh, even asking Lord. about last Thursday. I'm with cover on this. Last Thursday was a wild time. It was it it, it it was wild, yeah. What happened last I'm, Thursday? I'm, right. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn to uh Silvira and just be like, they scare me sometimes as I come out of my <laughs> rage. So you wouldn't understand it if you weren't there, but it was a real good time. Sorry you missed oh. it. I also so have... since we're going to be standing around in here, Krava, how do you feel about helping me move the wet bodies to the corner? Oh, I can do that one. The wet bodies. The wet bodies. Uh, oh boy, I'm tired though. I have exhaustion because I frenzied. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Well, we're going to rest afterwards, so we'll take our time with it and then. Okay. I'm just. Gonna... And then have a short rest. <clears throat> I'm just gonna pick up the, the elf and the the half orc like two logs over my shoulders and doesn't just oh, chuck Lord. them in the corner. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, sure. Why not? So check the pockets uh, first. I mean, we can get them in one place. Then we have all the pockets in one area to raffle through. Right, fair enough. It's efficient. Not wrong. It's actually not the worst. Yes, let's move them now. And then you can do all of those things you do while I meditate. <laughs> so... Uh, I assume you're all taking a short rest. Go ahead and do yes. do what that does. Yeah, short rest. Um, yes. And I assume while you're taking the short rest, you're going to rifle through whatever is available. Yes. So um, you uh, you pop up or pop up. You pop open the crates. Uh, all three. 
uh, are packed to the brim loosely with small envelopes. All of them are sealed. So, I All right, really so thought after... for a second there that you said you were going to say you pop open one of the dead bodies. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, they're very wet. It's poppy can't stop. Moist. Um, Gushers. After Taglio pulls an arrow out of his thigh, um, he's he's gonna, you know, like limp his way over to the crate and just kind of lean on it and then look at the other, like look at everybody else. And he goes, so which one of you wants to bet how efficiently I can make this into a weapon? Uh, I've learned long ago to never bet against you, so I'm not going to bet. That's fair. Are you going to cheat? That's also fair. Well, I, I mean, unfair. What do you mean cheat? I mean, cheat. I mean, are cheat, we... Are, cheat, cheat. Here, here's, here, here's my question. Are we talking about, like, when you say how efficiently you can make it into a weapon, are you talking about how efficient the weapon that you are making this into is going to be, or how efficiently you are going to be able to make this into said weapon? Because those are two very different things that we're betting on. I mean, that's Actually, not has just, a like, very good point. The envelope. <clears throat> Taglio then goes into a very detailed explanation oh of Lord. how he wants to take the powder and put it on into like uh, he wants to out halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps going, talking about how like he's going to put it in these little pouches, and then he can have these arrows that are technically harmless, but they would uh -huh. explode on impact mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. cause the other person to become mm -hmm. basically delirious. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> None of you are listening. Drug addiction. No. What? And but no, I yeah. all of it. I was paying very close attention to you. Uh, uh, yeah, no. I, I was also you, paying attention. Uh, I'm very <clears throat> against this. <laughs> all right. Your means and my means are different, but please don't spray me with that. Oh, on accident on or... using it against you guys. <sighs> I assumed not, but that doesn't mean it doesn't. Poof. That's fair. Fair point. Fair point. Um. So. <clears throat> do you limes do you want us to roll for our health recovery no don't worry about it okay so just full uh full, yeah there's uh, yeah go for it would recover yeah there's not gonna be combat anymore nice. unless you oh. choose for it to be combat you never <laughs> know but okay uh Recovered amongst zero the amongst the uh among us amongst the bandits and thieves <laughs> uh you <laughs> find uh, seven more uh, pieces of wealthy jewelry that you could probably get money for them. Uh, but you also find... You find... Sure, why not? Why not? Nice, nice. 69 nice. gold pieces, nice. <laughs> the two dice tell a story, baby. Perfect. It knew. How do we split that evenly between us? That two is... Easy? Well... Does it split two ways? I mean, someone's going to end up with an extra, right? Well, baby. <clears throat> um... <clears throat> Uh, as you're rummaging through the pockets of of them to, you know, get all the loot and everything else, um, mm. you actually end up finding a uh, a folded letter. Uh, the seal has been broken. It's a little wet. Um, <laughs> moist with blood. Moist. Yeah, it's a moist letter. Um, and it and it moist. reads. Oh my god. <laughs> It, yes, thank moist. you so much. It it Wait, it, it reads oh. as such. Moist. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it reads as such. Echo reverberation. Moist. I hate you so much. Uh <laughs> please Beautiful. continue. Beautiful. I, I will. Sorry. I will do that. You're fine. Uh let me I'm gonna copy paste great. the actual contents to the chat, but I will Ooh. also just plain read it so it says <clears throat> r it's just a letter it's just addressed to r the acolytes are beginning to become suspicious of your activities in the catacombs your men are becoming sloppy and leaving behind trash 
I don't care how lucrative the dream dust is. Get them to shape up or the deal is off. And it is signed with a single letter. K. Ah, uh, and K. Mm hmm. I have a feeling we might have been set up. Wait, 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 wait. What was the priest's name? It... Actually, did we even ask? I don't think we did. We're, we're not we very good we're at this. Just... Uh, <laughs> make a <laughs> wisdom check, everybody. I, I like I like having wisdom checks for for memory stuff, and it's a low check. Don't even worry about it. But wisdom. still, it's funny when when someone's like, I don't remember, and then the other person goes, I don't remember either, and then nobody remembers. And uh, now we're... <laughs> I don't know. Carver does not know. Wisdom. Carver has no idea. He does not remember. He just remembers being asked, and that he looks very manly with his axe. Um, <laughs> uh, the rest of you know that uh, that uh, the priest who asked you for help is named Father Karsten. Mm. With a K? A C, though. Costin could be with a C or a K. She says out loud. <laughs> is it a C or is it a K? I, mean, I demand she... answers and mm, starts yeah. to march towards the hallway. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, well, I'm not going to move right. the scene from so, here, so don't worry about it. Taglio is looking at this jewelry and then he's looking around. And he's like, you know, this jewelry probably came from these, you know, crypts, right? Yes, so I was thinking that honestly, but this is much more important. Right. So listen, I'd steal a nickel from the grams, but this isn't right. <laughs> we shouldn't take this. <laughs> After last Thursday, this is what you could hold up on? Listen, you don't desecrate the dead. I say we keep the 69 coins and leave the rest. Nice. But I'll mm. leave it between all of you. I'm, I'm with Vera. I have right. a sure. priest to confront. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I mean, dun, dun. If y'all want to, to put, do. If y'all want to put it back, you can put it back. I want to, I want to, I want to watch this. This is going to be funny. <laughs> and he, he falls, uh, Silvira up. Yeah, I will so. definitely put it back for you guys and be right there. <laughs> oh my god. So You're very trustworthy. I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh let's oh, terrible. <laughs> anyway. Hold on, uh, hold on. I can have Taglio do the same thing. Oh my god. <laughs> well, you're Not much better. mediocre at thievery at best, both I of you. <laughs> Okay, but I like the idea that because me and Sylvia are already on the way out, they're trying to, like, sleight of hand each other to pretend they're not doing it. Yeah, no, they both they both it's see the, each other doing it and are trying to act smooth. It's the it's it's the it's the thief equivalent of, like, people pretending not to see each other's real names on PayPal. Oh, God. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. VTubers and, 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 and <laughs> artists. Yeah, I do not see it. No, no. Uh, I do not I, see Taglio it. was actually not trying to take it. He was trying to sleight of hand them like back into cryptly crevasses because he doesn't want to wake the undead. <laughs> well, he's such a good boy, even if he w does want to dream dust everyone and maybe accidentally us too. It, Listen, it is, I didn't say he had good ideas all the time. It, it is an addictive substance, so that's not the best idea. Um, <laughs> his sister is much smarter than he is, okay? <laughs> accidentally, oh my god. <clears throat> anyway, so you march your way back uh, through the hallway and up the stairs through the catacombs and uh, into the chapel. Uh, Father Coston is uh, at the altar. He's actually just speaking to an acolyte when he notices... He notices uh, Vera uh, walking towards him. He he dismisses he dismisses the acolyte. He's like, no, I'll, I'll talk to you later. And um, and he he sees you. He he greets you with a with a large, warm smile. He's like, friends, adventurers. Yes, hello. Did you? Uh, I assume that that you're you're you look healthy and, and hale. And I I assume that the problem has been taken care of. Is it um, acceptable with everyone if I say she snagged the um, moist uh, letter on the way out? 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Perfect. Moist. So she's holding it in her hand, draped down as if it was a wanted poster, mm -hmm. and strides up and says, yes, we handled it right just fine. Only a few arrows in the ribs, a few arrows in the thighs. It looks like, and she points at the exact wording, someone, Karsten, might have been a bit sloppy. <gasps> oh, no. Wait. He 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 glances at the letter and it goes, ah, "One of the acolytes must be must have been in league with the thieves." Roll insight. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he's gonna roll uh, deception. That's not Can the worst insight, insight. Well because I'm there. Uh, I'm gonna give him just a. He's a he's a priest. He's got charisma, right? <clears throat> We rolled the same. Oh my god! Damn. This is terrible. I can't believe they'd do this. I will. I will. I will launch a thorough investigation yeah. to find out which one of them is is clearly in league with these narrow do wells. So your name starts with a C, does it? Hmm. I'm She's sorry. Giving him a she doesn't fully believe him, but doesn't fully disbelieve him. That's fair. If That's... if this is one of your your people, um, your name starts with a C. Can we interview them? I'd like to help um, you get down to the root of this. Oh. So is it safe to assume that Taglio and and we've we've all gone to the same place? I mm -hmm. assume so. Yes. Okay. I'm more than happy to have had you all follow us and join immediately mm -hmm. after um, stashing on the way. <laughs> but no, he's he's I was watching and listening very carefully to the uh, priest and he smells a whole bunch of bullshit, so I mean that's why I had everybody roll insight. Did I roll insight? I didn't roll you insight. You did not. No. Oh, so close. So yeah. close. <laughs> I got I, you know, rolls happen. Um but he uh, he 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 goes no 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 my dear you're I'm it's Father Costin with a K but don't worry about that no no you've done so much already for 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 me here listen just I've already I'm taken up so much of your time and and an acolyte comes over and he actually has uh um uh, like a tray and on the tray is a uh is a uh, like a loose bag um it's actually looks like it's kind of heavy um and a ring and he takes the tray from the acolyte and he offers it to the two of you he's like look listen this is payment for your services you've done so much for us already i will alert the proper authorities we'll get this all sorted out i can't take up any more of your time you've got to slay goblins or something don't you oh no, 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 Father Carsten, you misunderstand. As my companions agreed with you earlier, that one was for the good of profit. I would like to investigate this due to my heartstrings. This, this, this being said, uh, as she's saying this, Carver is absolutely grabbing like the. the oh yes, please like, do, I mean, please I mean, do. I mean, I mean, we, we're 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 still getting paid, making sure that still getting paid. You said we get paid, and uh, yeah, we, we, we did the job. Paid. It, it's uh, uh, as you as you look through the back, it's it's uh, uh, judging from the heft, it's 500 gold pieces and also hey. a uh, ring of protection. Ooh. Ooh. So uh, he 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 places a a. A kind hand on Vera's arm and says, you are such a kind soul. You know what? I'm going to go get some things written up. We can handle this together if you if you're very adamant about it and we'll we'll get to the bottom of this. And he's and he and he and he walks off to his office. Well, I understand that this is going to be very tedious, she says to the rest of the party, but Tom is a god of self-sacrifice, and this may be one of the ones we have to make. And if you want to bet on how fast it takes him to huff it. Yeah, he's running right now, isn't he? Probably. 
Should we check the office and see if he's out the back window yet? Yeah, yeah, we should uh, we should go look. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Um you you rush down the hallway. Uh well not I guess, I guess not rush, but you know, you you you, you make your way down. You make your way downtown. Uh, I never rush. I always stride. Amazing. <laughs> stride. With a cape flowing in the wind. Stride no if you're inside anyway. or not. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Giga. Uh, but you, you make it to the, uh, to his office and, uh, the door is locked. I can fix that. Hi, Leo, can we get your expertise here? <laughs> Delighted to, my lady. Oh, please, please, please. Absolutely no titles on this one. Go ahead and roll a slight hand. Uh. Oh, it's a child's oh lock. God. You're, you're, you're two seconds. Tink, tink, done. Expertise, fantastic. It's open. It's like the, it's like the fucking master lock videos where, where they break it open with another master lock. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, he just like flicks his finger and then opens the door and gives that a little is. flourish. After you, my lady. Hover with me. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna have the axe and. Uh, kick the door in now that it's been unlocked. <laughs> Amazing! I just love the idea of, of this big barbarian going, "Oh yeah!" <laughs> what I love is that Carver probably could have kicked the door in without it being unlocked, exactly. but he probably. waited to break the door until it was unlocked. Exactly. <laughs> when it's unlocked. Um, <laughs> but the the uh, what you call it? The, the door flies open and the the wooden the not so heavy wooden door slams against the wall uh, and you see his office it's semi richly decorated it's it's got a, a bookshelf or two right rug desk and everything else and a window behind the desk which is currently open with curtains flapping in the wind with father Karsten nowhere to be found Told ya. Only, only thing I'm going to say is, man, that breeze feels really good. Does it feel really good to anyone else? <laughs> feels pretty nice. Right? It uh, makes my cloak flow beautifully. So since we all bet the same, it's really no bet, isn't it? Uh, oh, hold on. We were window, not missed we, that. Do we see uh -huh. anything? I'm sorry, what was that? Uh, you look if I look out the window, uh, do I see a pre-shaped man running? Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you just you just see you just see the friggin' some dude in robes just fucking <laughs> hoofing it down the street. Just <laughs> I heard I, I, I pre-shaped man like hot shot at this man in the leg I, to take him out. I was gonna do the same with a javelin. Oh my lord, you people. <laughs> uh, assault in broad daylight. Wow. Uh I'm only gonna wing him. Mm-hmm. But okay, but I heard pre-made man instead of priest-shaped man, and I was like, "What is he like? A frozen hamburger patty?" Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, technically, he is a pre-made man. Lions didn't make him up on the spot. I yeah. Um, but that is where the adventure catacomb kerfuffle ends. <laughs> Taglio's still gonna fire off a pot shot at the guy. Of course. Uh, it's, but it's, it's gonna end on a Gilligan cut where it's just like it's 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 Leo and Carver. Like Leo's like drawing back the bow, and Carver's like going into an Olympian uh, javelin throwing stance. At this oh my lord! Who's running away? I'm just Fantastic. standing in the background with my cloak flowing. Now that the window's open, it was flowing before. <laughs> don't beautiful. mind. It's beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Amazing. Um, but this was a lot of fun. This and was I, a lot of fun. fun. And I appreciate Thanks for inviting I us. It. Yeah, it's hell been yeah. So long awesome. since I played as a player. It felt really nice. It was it was a shorter shorter session. Shorter session. Uh only roughly about two and a half hours, which is actually par for what I have. I have the adventure length is set to two to three hours. So um nice. there we go. Uh, again, this adventure is available for download on coffee down below. It is free. 
Uh, I do need to mess with the formatting a little bit. Um, possibly. Yeah, no, I can see where I messed it up and I pr should probably run it through uh, another check, but I'll update that and post it tomorrow. Uh, if you don't mind that, then it's available right now for free. Name your price. Zero or nothing. Oh, zero or five. I don't care. As long as you enjoy it. Um, we will be doing a, another uh, type of this adventure. Another one shot. Again, this is Tales from Shar, episode one. Next next month, or rather, it's September already, isn't it? Um, <laughs> we will be working on a... Or rather, I will be working on a uh, another adventure, another one shot that will be again free to the community. We're gonna get some more guests on. It it might be it might be uh, Vera Carver, Taglio, and Volthar again. Who knows? It might be a new <laughs> cast, uh, and we're gonna run through that adventure too. We might go a little bit longer next time, uh, depending on on the kind of content I can get. Which, by the way, if you have any suggestions for adventures that you want to pose uh in my discord we have a adventure board where you can post a help a a, a pseudo help wanted ad for yeah, an adventure and uh we can go from there we've already got two we've got missing one ass and three players which is a <laughs> uh a a help wanted Amazing. ad to find uh three minstrels and their donkey Amazing. Uh, and another like one, it. another one is, help! I've got too many cows. <laughs> they just wonder what that problem is. They were counting cows, and suddenly they started getting more, and they don't know where they're coming from. So we need to find out why. Oh boy! But yeah, that sounds like great fun. It 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 does. There's a lot of possibilities with all of those. There's so much that can be done with that. Exactly, <laughs> but. Uh, well, I hope that I will get a chance for one of those or another yeah. in the future to uh, bring Silvera back for more fun. Of course, of course. Yeah. Uh, as as we wind down, uh, last last tidbit. Does anybody have any questions for the players, or do do any of you have any any thoughts? Oh. <laughs> I just had a really good time, and it was really uh -huh. fun playing with everyone. I'm glad. Yeah, I had a really good time. Fantastic. Yeah, this was wonderful. I would happily be back. Yeah, absolutely. Same. Well, you already know I like playing D&D &D with you guys. I, I know. Yeah, I know right? <laughs> Fantastic. Same um, well, if there's if there's nothing left, uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and do a little run around. First off, uh, let's go through our players. Let's t tell us tell us a little bit about yourself as a streamer. And what you do, Whisper, you're up first. Hi, Whisper. Me? It's me first? Oh, yeah. No. Um, well, I'm Whisper. I am a Griffin VTuber, and I tend to play a lot of roguelikes and classic JRPGs. We're currently running through Lost Odyssey. Or, no, we finished that one, Legend of Dragoon. Jeez, I've been playing it for months, too. <laughs> we're currently running through Legend of Dragoon on my stream, and uh, we're going to do some spoopy games so that Limes and I can hands and piss together throughout mm -hmm. october that's true uh, yeah <laughs> sounds like a good time right oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah so i have some spoopy games planned for october too um you can expect my stream to be about as sussy as i've been here so that's that's, that's pretty on point for me next up we've got we've got damien damien sell yourself hello i'm damien verde i'm a paleontology themed vtuber I do a whole bunch of stuff with dinosaurs and all that. I play a lot of Jurassic World Evolution 2. I'm getting ready to play Paleo Pines, which is a super cute dinosaur-themed army uh, uh, sim that's coming out. It's, in I'm so excited. This I'm month. so excited for it. It's so cute. It's, it's so, so cute. cute. <laughs> it's, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I, I'm also going to be playing. I can't amazing. wait. <laughs> it's so good. But amazing, amazing. But yeah, I do. I do, noises. I do. I do a whole bunch of different things. I'm a variety streamer. I play stuff like Apex. I play uh, right now. We're playing through Armored Core, uh, and I sometimes do mini building and gunpla building. So like Warhammer Forty Thousand, Gundam, and very, very, very rarely actual fossil preparation. If you're lucky enough to catch the streams, so yeah, we do. We get up to a whole bunch of interesting stuff. 
Fantastic. And uh, Mr. Morg. Hi, I'm a, I'm a demon uh, VTuber. I, uh, I mostly do art and video games, but variety. Um, <clears throat> I've been doing a lot of art commissions. I'm also very, very excited to play Paleo Pines. Yes. Um, so I have... Uh, I'm the other Bone Man. I don't do paleontology, but I like bones, so... <laughs> Come on over to the bone zone. That baculum. Um, <clears throat> that baculum. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Learn about baculums here. Um, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I didn't. <laughs> Let me educate you. <laughs> uh, amazing. <laughs> Sorry, Damien. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm not. I'm not at all. Um, wonderful, wonderful. But I'm looking forward to playing Paleo Pines. I've been... I really, oh god, I want to play Baldur's Gate, but I'm also very much like avoiding playing Baldur's Gate because I have a problem. Oh yeah. <laughs> and that problem's name is a star in. Oh no. I'm not playing it because it will take me the next two years of stream. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm yep. getting sprayed. Yep. I'm getting sprayed. They're tell ch my chat's telling me to the turn off horny <laughs> mode. Wow. I'm, I'm I'm done. I'm being punished. <laughs> but next up, uh she doesn't stream anymore, but she's still a fantastic person, Ganon. Hello. Yes, uh, I have, not unfortunately, I felt like that'd be a weird thing to say, but I have retired from streaming, just isn't a thing I do anymore. Uh, but you can find me on Twitter at the same at, at CDI Ganon. Uh, I am also trying to hang out more in just people's discords where I'll be casually streaming uh, either Baldur's Gate or uh, fighting games, and I make a lot of tweets about fighting games and magic the gathering uh and i also have too much information about Baldur's gates builds in my head so if you ever want to talk to <laughs> someone about how to make a really good character uh hit me up and i will divulge at you for hours and thanks again for having me yeah of course no this you're, all, super you're fun. all fantastic mm -hmm. but we are gonna call it there for the night thank you all so much for joining us I can't Thanks wait for to. Us. Of course. Yeah, thank you, Lives. This I'm, was so much Yeah, thank fun. you, I'm, I'm surprised it went as smooth as it did. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we'll be back on again at the end of September for another adventure for more Tales from Shar. Uh, let's see who we can raid today. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Who, who is currently on? So I can send all you lovely people to go. Two. Let me see. Zap is on. Uh, I don't get like to raid Lucas Zap. Limes is on. Oh, wow. oh, that limes guy. Nah, oh my god, he nerd. sounds he sounds cringe. Yeah, he's, uh, he's yeah. <laughs> you know what? I Zap. think I I will send you to Zap Shot. Zap's pretty cool. Okay. Zap Shot is a uh, small bluebird. Uh, they are Zap a variety great, streamer. Yeah. They're great. Uh, they have a Space Jam DVD redeem. <laughs> yep, but. Thank you all so much for joining me. Thank you all so much for being here and with the adventure. There's the raid. There's the... Wait, no. Yeah, I can do this. I have fingers. Uh, there's my links. There's the Discord. Follow all these lovely folks. And remember, be excellent to each other. Be excellent to yourselves. I'll see y'all next time. Have a good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night.